our country and beyond. Temperatures <laughs> below zero in many places like, you know, here. Oh, we're going outside <laughs> now. Local <laughs> meteorologist Brandon Orr joins us with some cold weather science. Brandon, Love I cannot this. wait. Let's see it. I know uh, it failed in the six o'clock, which we knew because this is a difficult experiment that we're doing that you can do with your kids at home, but it takes trial and error. So you do it once. If it fails, you adjust a little bit until you get it just right. So we'll see if it works this time. Uh, the first one, though, certainly will work. We did this earlier. This is where you get some bubbles, but you have to mix it with a little bit of sugar. Uh, be pretty generous when you put it in there, too. It just uh, helps it stay uh, together a little bit longer. We'll see if we can catch one of these. This one's big, so it's going to take a while. Plus, it was a little bit colder last time we did it, so it um, actually froze pretty quickly. But when I tried it a second ago, it took a good, I'd say, 30 seconds or so to, to freeze. And here in a moment, you'll actually start to see the ice crystals form. I'm starting to see it right now. I don't know if you can see how well you can. There you go. Yeah, you can see it over there on the TV. It's really cool because you can see the structure of the crystals starting to develop. And once this bubble actually falls to the ground, it'll kind of shatter a little bit. You see that? It's really cool. The kids will love it too. It's, it's something very different from what they've seen. This is one that I froze earlier. It's actually pretty frozen. It just kind of falls apart. The other one you could do, and I told this story a little bit earlier. This is the one where someone had a bottle of water in their car. It was completely frozen when they got in. Uh, it wasn't frozen, I should say. It was liquid, but after they turned around and looked at it, it froze instantly. It's because they jarred it a little bit and the water was super cold. So the water was below the freezing mark, but still in liquid form. When a couple bubbles formed on there, it started a chain reaction from the top down. Now I have some ice and I put some salt in here just so the temperature within this bucket surely will get to negative eight degrees. We have it outside, but in this courtyard, I suspect it's a little bit warmer. This one has been sitting out for a while now. I don't think this one's cold enough, but if you get it just a little jar, sometimes if it's cold enough, you can get it to freeze from the top down. Now in the six o'clock, it didn't work very well because uh, it actually froze completely. It was a little bit too cold. Let's see if I can get this one to do it here. Doesn't seem like it's working quite well. Let me try these, but while I'm uh, getting these out, check out the video of when I tried it indoors. Cause you can do this one indoors if you don't want to sit outside. This is in my home. You see how it froze there at the top? all the way down. You have to be very careful when you take it out of the ice or wherever you have it so that way you don't jar it a little bit too much. Let's see if I can get this one out right here. But isn't that cool? Instantly freeze it. Let's see if this one has been out here a little bit long enough. Nope, doesn't look like this one is working either. So the first time we tried it, we did it for about 30 minutes. This time I did it for about 18. So then you have to go back and try again. Maybe 25 minutes will work. And that's the cool part about this is that you can teach your kids, hey, it didn't work this time. Let's try it something different the next time and maybe it'll work again. Plus they don't mind doing it over and over again. They'll love it. Guys, I'll send it back to you. <laughs> I love it. And, and the video really is yeah. fascinating to watch. Now I have one question though. How much sugar did you put in the bubbles? Ah to make them look like that. In the bubbles, not too much, maybe about a tablespoon or so. Okay. Uh, but in here, if you want to mix it with ice, if you're doing it indoors, be a little generous with the salt. You'll, you'll definitely need it to get that temperature cold enough. Okay. That was fun. Thanks, good, Brandon. Good stuff, Brandon. It's uh, 945. We'll be right back.